Welcome back to the channel. For today's video, we're looking at a question from an Indian math competition. In the following question, we're given an equation consisting of various components of the variables x and y. From there, we're trying to find the product of these two variables x, y. Just by looking at the equation, the first instinct to solve for the value of x, y would be to move it to the right hand side and deal with the remaining components. But if we do that, the components that are on the left don't give a whole lot of clues as to how they can be factorized. So let's try a different way. We are just going to leave x, y on the left hand side of the equation the way it is. If you take a closer look on the left hand side of the equation, I have x squared, I have y squared, and I have minus x, y. So if I can introduce another minus x, y to this side, I can actually turn that into x squared minus 2xy plus y squared, which can be conveniently written as x minus y squared. And also, I have x squared and I have plus 1, so if I can introduce another x, I can turn that into x plus 1 squared. So what do we need to do to get that done? So what we're going to do is, I'm just going to multiply both sides by 2. Let's, let me write out what happened on the left hand side. So now, when I multiply that by 2, I have 2x squared plus 2x plus 2y plus 2y squared minus 2xy plus 1 plus 1, which is equal to 2, and that's equal to 0 multiplied by 2 on the right hand side, which is equal to 0. I'm going to break up some of the components on the left hand side and to make things easier to follow. Let me use a different color ink. For 2x squared, I'm going to break that into a red color x squared and a blue color x squared. Likewise, for 2y squared, I'm going to break that into a red color y squared and blue color y squared. Let's go ahead and do some factorization. So what I have now is red color x squared minus 2xy plus red color y square that's the first component plus blue color x square plus 2x plus 1 plus blue color y square plus 2y plus 1 that's equal to 0 Let's check whether we have left out any components. I don't believe I did. So now let's try to take a closer look on each of the bracket. On the first bracket, I can write that as x minus y square. On the second bracket, I can write that as x plus 1 square. On the third bracket, I can write that as y plus 1 square. And all three together will be equal to 0. I know that for each of the component, they have to be either bigger than or equal to 0 since they are a product of a square. And if we have a condition where three positive numbers adding it to each other is equal to 0, that can only mean one thing. That means x minus y is equal to x plus 1 is equal to y plus 1 and is equal to 0. In other words, x is equal to y is equal to negative 1. So if you're looking for the product of x, y, then that's equal to negative 1 multiplied by negative 1, which is equal to 1. Let's go ahead and try to substitute our values into the original equation to see whether things make sense. I have x and y both equal to negative 1. So x squared, which is negative 1 squared, will be equal to 1 x will be negative 1, y will be negative 1, y square will be plus 1, minus xy will be minus 1, and obviously the last one is plus 1. I have 3 negative 1s and 3 plus 1, so the result cancel out each other, and that's equal to 0. So our final answer is valid, where xy is equal to 1. That's the final answer for today's question. I thank you for watching. Have a good day. Goodbye.